Colin Windecker here after the Broncos weekend sweep over the number 13 Miami Red Hawks. Tonight they completed that sweep with a 3-2 victory. Joined here with Brandon Fitzsimons from HustleBelt.com. Brandon, just an all-around impressive job by the Broncos this weekend. But tonight's game, what was the main story of why they were able to complete the weekend sweep? Special teams. I mean, whenever you can hold a team like Miami 0 for 8 on the power play, that's impressive. Uh, Miami has a top 10 power play unit. They have Austin Zarnick, Riley Barber. Obviously, Zarnick's out with a concussion, but Riley Barber still had two goals. He's got 14 on the year. He's one of the best players in, all, in college hockey right now. But whenever you can not only hold a team like Miami over a on the power play, but get a shorthanded goal, and we're two seconds away from having another shorthanded goal, which was the game-winning goal, and then you get another goal four on four, that, you know, that's where you get to start with the game. Well, yesterday's game, Lucas Hafner got the start, but tonight, Frank Slabowski and Frank was about as, about as close to perfect as possible, 36 saves and 38 shots. Goalie controversy over. Is Frank going to be the goalie from here on out, in your opinion? I don't think there's, the controversy is necessarily over. Obviously, Frank had a great weekend, but we saw Lucas Hafner have a great weekend at the GLI come around. He only saved nine shots on 12, you know, 12 attempts last night. Both are great goalies. Let's, you know, let's not discredit any, you know, one or the other. Obviously, if Frank's having an off night, we can see Lucas Hafner come in and have a, still have a great game. But for now, we're going to see Frank Zabowski probably come in that. And, you know, I don't know if Andy Murray might play split time between the two. You know, start one Friday, start one Saturday. It, it, it's Andy Murray. He's unpredictable. We just don't know what to expect. All right, well, with the weekend series with Miami over, the Broncos now look forward to to another difficult opponent, this, yeah. uh, this new conference. I mean, every week it's going to be another tough opponent. Next week, two games with St. Cloud State, currently third in the nation and top of the conference. What are the Broncos going to have to do to come away with uh, hopefully six more points? Well, the Broncos have been to St. Cloud before. I think they were there last year over winter break playing uh, the solid Husky team. Uh, St. Cloud's been to the Frozen Four. They went last season. They had the Hobie Baker Award winner last year, but they are a very solid team. They're very good offensively. They're very good defensively. Um, so they're number three in the, in the nation for a reason. And, you know, what the Broncos are going to have to do is they, they can't take as many penalties as they did tonight. Obviously, you know, holding Miami like that, but it's just too exhausting. They can't do that against a team as good as St. Cloud. But if they play their game, if they play defense, it'll be tough. But, you know, they can come out of there with three points possible. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this series with Miami. Again, Broncos come away with two victories, 5-4 to four on Friday night, 3-2 to two this evening here at Lawson Arena. That's going to wrap it up. Colin Windecker, Brandon Fitzsimons from HustleBelt.com. Uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, have a great night.